Okay, everybody. Matthew back with you again. You can see we've got some more done on our Peterbilt here. For our Showtime Studios truck build. <clears throat> we got the cab mounted. The hood. It's supposed to open. There it goes. Hood opens. Got that all done. Got the hood lined up. It closes nice. There's the back. Back of the cab. Of course, we had to make our own window for in there. Fifth wheel plates on. These mud flaps are on. I still have this uh, diamond plate to go over the mud flap or the mud flap rod. That's still have, but that's gonna be chromed. So that's where we're at. Front windows is in. We'll turn around to this side. Here's the other side. Let's see if I can get you up here and get some better light. Yeah, the hood lined up really nice. Nice and level across there. That looks good. This is by far not a perfect build. But it's a good build and it does look exactly like the truck that I drove. The collar turned out to be perfect. So that's where we're at so far. The actual only styrene we have left is handy down here. This breather hose goes to the breather on the other side of the truck. Which is over here. Comes out the hole. Goes to the breather. Like you can see that. There we go. Yeah, it comes out the hole. Goes to the breather. So that'd be the only actual painted piece left. I have all the chrome parts now. Dechromed. Going through, clean those up. You can see. Close the window. See if that helps. Ah. See if it takes any of the shadow off. Not really. Well, I can't get ready to see it. There should be. I can kind of see some mold lines along the top of that. Those have to be taken out. Just going around general cleaned up. That stuff that they just crumbed over and left. Then you can see a mold line down the side. It's got to come out. Same over here. Got to come out. So that's what we're doing now. I'm working on um, I got the exhaust has put together. So we're letting those dry. Those have to be done. I have the all clad and I have the spazics both. So I may go ahead and try the spazics on this and see how it works. I have the back mud flaps, have the frame part painted. Now I gotta do the the uh, hangers and aluminum. And of course the mud flaps in black. That's all I have to do. But other than that, all stuff is just these parts here, which are gonna be all be chromed and that's all I have left now this kit here for whatever reason I'm going to paint it back down to make a better view maybe I won't I only got one set of steps in this kit the parts tree where this other one should have been was empty so I did get gypped on that, so if anybody else is building this kit, you may want to check that before you get too far. Maybe you can send it off and get one. So I'm going to try and get over Revell at some point and get one, but as of for now, this one will be built with just the step on the driver's side. Since I only have one, this will be the driver's side one. Which really stinks that this part was missing on my kit, but there's not a lot I can do about that. So, other than that, there's not a lot else going on with it. Um, everything else is done underneath. Everything looks good. It's all proper looking, proper looking truck. The uh, 
Peterbilt emblems on the side of the hood. I need to get those. I might just go ahead and do because I don't need some bare metal foil. So I may just go ahead and bare metal foil those. Then this strip across the top it needs to be chrome. I may try and just go ahead and uh, spaz that too so it'll match the grill. I just have a lot of trouble when I tape them, I leave a tape residue. So I don't know why that is, but I do. Now I'm just going around and cleaning these parts up. And uh, you can kind of see there. So I still have a right there, there's a shiny spot left in the middle. So I'm just going around taking a fine sandy stick and sanding all that off until you know until it's all smooth all the way across. That's all I'm doing with that. And just about gone. There, now it's gone. Brush in here. It's not a shiny spot, it's gone. It's all smooth and flat there. Got the corners all done. The top is done on this side. This side I have to do. Then I'm going to take my stick and go across the entire face. Get that all nice and smooth. That way it looks pretty when it's done in the spazics. So that's where I'm at, guys. So, um, see, so I had a couple comments that I had a couple questions asked, and I'm trying to think of what they are now. And I think somebody asked me after I put this in bleach, why I do to clean it up. And I just washed them with warm soapy water. I'm going with an old toothbrush to clean them up after the bleach. That's all done there. And then Motorhead asked me, I can't remember what, what I got asked now. I was wanting to answer it, but I just don't, let me look here guys, I'll look on my phone and see if I can find it real quick. Just don't remember what it was that I was asked. I'm bad about doing uh, replies back to so like I like to do it in person, but uh, one I don't, don't do real well typing. Yeah, I'm not seeing it on my feed here now. I'll look up and get it typed to you, but I'm sorry, I can't uh, can't find it on this one. So. That's all I can think of as for now, so everybody keep the videos rolling, and I'll be back when I have some more done, so have a good day. <music>